Upon the release of the long-anticipated Fortnite Season 3, a very unanticipated change caught the Fortnite world off guard. Epic Games has implemented yet another nerf to the aim assist of controller players. This perhaps is the most harsh and easily noticeable nerfs in the recent wave of nerfs that have been coming left and right. So, with this change, many controller players had to recoup and rediscover their skill set because of how damaging the aim assist nerf was to their gameplay. And this wasn't just because of them needing aim assist to help them aim, it's much more complex and really deeper than that. The removal of aim assist has, in a way, reinvented the mechanics of aiming in Fortnite. And it has changed the way controller players just play. In this video today, we're going to be going over the most powerful and effective tips to remaster your aiming mechanics and really get back to where you were before this major nerf. Also, if you're looking to counteract this crazy aim assist nerf, you got to check out ProGuys.com, man, where we have the best coaches, not like in the country, we have the best coaches in the world. Sign up for our membership today and get exclusive access to master courses and live classes. Head on over to ProGuys' website and be sure to sign up and start improving rapidly, not tomorrow, but today. What's going on, guys? This is your motivation guy, man. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen, the guy who is rooting for you, the guy who is your number one fan. I don't care how many mistakes you've made in your life, man. Get back up and keep going. I don't care if you've been losing game after game, match after match. Listen, man, don't let don't don't let it stop you from moving forward, man. Just wipe it all away. Just just keep going, man, and, and just keep grinding. That's how we do, man. The fighters get back up and keep going. All right, guys, bunch of crunch army. It's time to get this. It's time to say it right now. It's time to sit back, relax, and grab some of my favorite candy. What is that? It's that bunch of crunch. And let's get this going. Here we go. Also, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget that at 1 million subscribers, we're going to be making my own personal inspirational story on my journey to how I made it to where I am today. And it's going to really inspire you guys to thrive and be successful, not only in this game, but also in life. So we encourage you guys to drop a sub, man. Tell your friends about us and help us reach our goal, okay? So we can help you reach yours. So, what we're talking about improving, let's get into the most prominent way to improve your aim in the game. Here we go. With the major changes that Epic Games has made, one of the first differences most people realize is how much more they actually have to utilize their fine aim. Fine aim is the smaller movements and more accurate, you know, slowed down portion of the aiming maneuvers on the controller. Before this major nerf to aim assist, Fortnite's aim assist would naturally do a lot of the fine aiming for players, resulting in an effect that made it seem like there was less bloom and less recoil on controller, when in fact, it was just more assistance when it came to small adjustments. The game would simply assist you and pull your aim closer to the opponent's head of weak points, making it much easier to hit for higher damage shots that could make a huge impact in the fight. These critical damage shots are only really as strong as the aim that the user has. I mean, after all, like shotgun bullets are nearly as effective when their pellets are not landing. And controlling your fine aim is the main aspect to landing the most amount of pellets. So, how can we as controller players work around this new issue of less fine aim assistance? Well, to begin, we must focus more on our micro adjustments, okay? When lining up shots, we really have to focus on not just getting our reticle on the player, but also lining it up with the center of their body and head. Here are a couple of extremely effective ways to do so. Here we go. The midline of the body is the area straight down the middle of an opponent's body, right? No matter what weapon you're using, you always want your aim to be as close to the midline as possible. The midline is also where the head of the body is located. The main reason that this area is so important is that it allows for the most shot and pellet hits. Okay, so if you're shooting at an opponent with an AR SMG, there is going to be bloom. But if you're directly aiming at the center of your opponent's body, you have a significantly higher chance of hitting more shots, making your bloom less of a variable in your fights. On the other hand, okay, so if you're using a shotgun and you shoot at the midline, you will get the best shotgun spread damage as many of your pellets will hit. Compared to, you know, if you were slightly overdoing it on one side where your shotgun bullets would slip off. The shotgun spread is an X-shaped pattern of dots that will determine the damage outcome of each shot. The more pellets you land on an opponent after a shot, the more damage. But of course, now comes the headshot bonus. 
For every pellet that hits the head, you receive a multiplier on the damage dealt, meaning that the most deadly shots with the shotgun are the ones that not only hit the head, but are also lined up perfectly with the center of the character. If you've ever hit a headshot pump shot for less than 50 damage, then you definitely know what we're referring to, because if that shot was more lined up, you can almost guarantee it would have been a 200 plus damage shot instead though of a low damage headshot. Now, in this season, especially when we're dealing with the charge shotgun, headshot multipliers and high damage shots are more important than ever. With the low fire rate and the need to charge up every single shot, it's more worth your time than ever to take an extra second to really line up your shot and hit them for a massive damage count rather than just a pesky little less than 100 shot. Hitting less than 100 damage shots is of course extremely annoying. All right, but on the opposite side of the spectrum, we have massive 200 plus damage shotgun headshots and juicy AR and SMG multipliers. These can usually be done by taking advantage of track aiming, which is the new meta for season three. We're gonna get into this a little later in the video, right? But for now, we need to discuss flick aiming and whether or not, you know, it still has a valid way to be used after the nerf. Flick aiming is an incredibly important aspect of Fortnite due to the high sensitivities and constant building and editing. Players just must be able to just quickly turn and shoot, dealing good amount of damage while not wasting any time trying to slowly aim back on their opponent. This type of aiming comes mainly in fast paced fights and 1v1s where the player is constantly switching between builds and edits, trying to sneak in shots and damage here and there as they switch between modes. If you haven't caught on already, this is what makes flicking so important. You can't always be tracking and have an easy time keeping up with your opponents. You're often going to find yourself having to pull off fast shots that almost seem lucky. And with this aim assist nerf, it can be hard at times due to the lack of extra pull on that we used to have in the previous seasons. So to combat this guys, what we recommend doing is actually practicing your flick aiming and 1v1s rather than just aiming courses or just normal matches. 1v1s will force you to build, you know, edit and incorporate fast paced shots as you do so. There is no better way to practice and master flick aiming than finding an opponent similar or better than you in terms of skill and then just spending time 1v1ing them. This is going to help you develop your muscle memory and reaction time in fights while also multitasking and switch moding constantly. Besides 1v1 practice, we also suggest practicing shot aiming, you know, via advanced personal coaching. This is a technique where a player puts great focus on one point in their gameplay in order to understand their weaknesses and develop quick ways to strengthen them. Okay, so an example of how you would do this. Okay, let's just say that you're in a very close 1v1 and you begin to realize that your flicks are slightly off, causing you to miss some shots. Fixing this one single issue could make a huge difference in your fight and could tip the balance in your favor. So how can you improve a skill like that fast while you're competing and playing? Well, you could do it by basically putting all your focus on your flicking. Okay, so when you go to quickly snap into your opponent for a shot, you find yourself under doing some shots more often or overdoing them. Or do you recognize that your damage output for every flick is really low? Well, all these are common mistakes, you know, and they have simple solutions, okay? For the first that you can really incorporate really is more patience with shots. If let's say you're underdoing your shots and you're just shooting too fast. And on the other hand, you could be a little more trigger happy and shoot faster if you find that your tracking is more overdoing it. And by basically critiquing your flick shots mid game, you're teaching yourself how to instantly improve and warm up mid match, which is an amazing talent to have on a controller, especially with the inconsistency that comes with constant aim assist changes and nerfs. So as we mentioned before, we're also going to be talking about the opposite of flick aiming, track aiming. Tracking is a very popular and widely used aim technique by a variety of pro players in many different games. This is a long time aiming method that just so happens to be the most dominant and useful in season three with the controller aim assist nerf. All right, remember guys that although flicking can be very useful because of how much aim assist was nerfed, it's much more consistent to rely on, you know, tracking and keeping your aim closer to your opponent. And we're gonna show you how to do that right now. Here we go. First and foremost, we have basic aim tracking that you would use when you're spraying someone down with the SMG, AR, or drum gun. This type of tracking is absolutely necessary if you want to get a kill with any type of spray or high fire rate weapon as you're constantly gonna need to keep up your aim on the opponent in order to do damage with every quick shot. 
To train your spray track aiming, okay, we recommend practicing with a nice aim duels mat. Okay, aim duels are a great way to practice tracking and master the muscle memory as they are constant and can allow for practice with a variety of weapons. But more importantly, they put you in tough situations where building and editing are out of the question. Meaning that the only thing in these special 50-50 battles deciding if you're gonna win or lose is your aim. Okay, so now besides this spray tracking, which is more popularly known, we also have an advanced form of tracking that we use when we do not have a line of sight on our opponents. Sounds kind of weird, right? Tracking is extremely popular and used by controller players because the slower sensitivities don't allow for insanely consistent fast flicks. So keeping your aim near opponents at all times will guarantee that you have the ability to at least quickly pull it to them in a short period of time. Which brings us to the main part of how you're supposed to do this method of tracking. Here we go. You essentially do this, guys, by always keeping your reticle near your opponent's body, whether you're aiming, building, or editing. You can do this by always building and editing in the direction that your opponent is believed to be in, and by always keeping them in the center of your screen for the most part. This is gonna make up for the aim assist nerf and allow for you guys to be much more consistent as you're not gonna be relying on aim assist to track for you. All right, guys, so to sum this video up, tracking has become more important than ever, right? And those fast flick shots that we all love to see in montages, although still important, aren't as viable with these major aim assist nerfs, all right? So pairing tracking with midlife focus and also using advanced personal coaching to perfect those must-have flicks, it's gonna make you a deadly aiming controller player. And you once again are gonna be feared by keyboard and mouse players all over the world. All right, guys, once again, this is not your ordinary guy. No, 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 this is your motivation guy. That's right, I'm the one that's rooting for you, cheering for you, man. You can do it, keep going, keep grinding, never, never stop. Keep eating that bunch of crunch, and I will see you soon. All right, that is it for today's video. We hope you enjoyed it, man. So just comment down below what you guys thought and what you would like to see next, because we strive to bring you guys daily quality content. So do us a favor by liking this video, subscribe to the channel, and show ProGuides.com some love love by using code proguides in the item shop we'll see you soon once again keith allen we'll see you peace